Moscow. Hell yeah. You know, if I remember right, I got super into it, and then you were just like, oh, I don't know yet, because you hadn't really gotten into podcasts yet. You're like, I don't, I don't know. You're like, I like some of the stuff, but I don't know how I feel. And now I would say you're a much, much, much bigger fan of the Adventure Zone than I am at this point. Uh, gra it wasn't graduation. Uh, uh, they had like A, B, C, and D. Commitment. He said, hey, oh. Hey, Goose, how you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Say, I see a buffering logo on my screen, or where I am. Did you like? Do you see? Do you see a a buffering logo? I see it on stream. If I'm inactive, it's on my shoulder. Do you have another, um, do you have another, like, boogie that's not hidden? I wish that there was a way you could just like cap through shit. Just like easily be like, I want to highlight what is currently buffer. What is buffering my titties? Do you need me? Because we were talking about it last night. I started my own Mass Effect playthrough in, in uh, private. Um, because I, I, listen, I love Mass Effect. I do not know if I could stream, like, long RPGs. Because for me, it's either I get hooked on them and I want to do nothing with them. Or... 
I, I don't know. I play it one time on stream, and then I'm like, I got, I want to play more of it, but I'm going to wait. And by the time I like waited long enough, it's just like, oh, I no longer have a desire to play this game because I literally stifled my own excitement playing the game. And now I feel now I feel mildly burnt out over the con the idea of playing this game. Yeah, you weren't you aren't muted. Oh, did you manually click uh, uh manually click on the uh manually click on the thing instead of using the buttons? No, well, actually that last um, time I did. Yeah, because if you don't if you don't press the button, sometimes when you swap to a different thing, it'll mute your mic and then on certain ones it'll unmute your mic. Gotcha. So it's likely that you changed to one that muted your mic and then didn't, because you didn't press the other button, it kept your mic muted. That's fair. All right, well, Mass Effect time. Time for Ass Effect. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, um, I talked to everyone in here. Yep. So I gotta do a mission. What's, what's exactly my mission right now? I mean, you can do missions or you can do assignments. You don't That's have fair. to. Uh, because now you have. A million. Yeah. Let's see. So, like, Age. you have the UNC for the Rogue VI. So, you're heading to the Soul System in the local cluster. Am I cron I'm, I'm eating. <laughs> You're going to the moon. Alright, gotta go to the moon. Gotta go to the fucking moon. Let's go. Mooch the robot. Yes, yes, yes. There are no dogs on the moon. No dogs on the moon. Moon's haunted. How's it going, Dentro? One of my one of, one of my favorite versions of the moon is haunted. Mm -hmm. Is based on uh, the Innistrad, uh, the Shadows of her Innistrad story, mm -hmm. which uh, you remember how Emrakul was on Innistrad, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the whole thing with them. Uh, so Emrakul didn't get defeated. She literally uh, mind controlled Tamio to then put her, basically sing her into the moon. Huh. So she was just like, yeah, nah, I'm just gonna rest on the moon. Peace out, fuckers. I mean, that's fair. I'm trying to figure out where is our universe. Okay. Should seals be domesticated? Absolutely. Oh. They're just funny little guys. They are. They're funky little boys. Is Soul the one that we go to? I mean, Rob. I'ma look. Ah, uh, shit. Here we go. You know, the, the completely rain-covered area that is, uh, that where the clones are from mm -hmm. in Star Wars. Oh, you need to go to the moon. Yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. An early source of Helium-3, Luna is now mined for materials used in space habitat construction. 
Two dozen major stations have been constructed at Earth's L4 and L5 Lagrange points, all from lunar resources. So, population 4.1. Oh, shit. We, we have definitely done shit with the moon. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, orbital period, yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Just a little bit bigger than Earth, Earth, Earth stuff. I don't know why I'm lisping. Anyway, land. Minus 53 Celsius. That is like negative 110 degrees. Yeah, that sucks, but I guess we got suits. Mmm, who do I want to take? Oh yeah, I also ended up going, instead of go, because I normally go Vanguard. Uh-huh. Because Vanguard is an Unga Bunga class. Mm -hmm. uh, I decided to go Infiltrator, which is pistols and sniper rifles. Check. Add our squad. Uh, but, uh, fun fact, hmm? the most powerful class in the game of mm -hmm. all the classes is Adept. Huh. Check. And it's 100% because of war. Which is at higher difficulties, the higher difficulty you're on, the more warp is valuable because it shreds a percentage of armor. Jesus. You gonna find dogs? I'm looking for the dogs. I think dogs should vote. I'm waiting for the fact. I'm waiting for the fucking pressure mod to pop up. Yes, yes, yes. I do not wish that, but it might be something. Oh, what is this I red don't... shit? Is it just boundary? Yeah, if it's, if it's red, it's probably dangerous. Gotcha. I mean, there's only one way to find out. Yes, go to the danger zone. Our way to the danger zone. You need to zone. turn back, Commander. You're going beyond the range of the operational area. All right, fine, fine, fine. Fine. Don't let me hide from my fun. I'm on the moon. I should be, I should let, I should just let things happen. I go to the moon, it's no longer any jurisdiction. It's, it's the moon court. Mm -hmm. I will be. <laughs> Forget about a kangaroo court, a kangaroo court. Yeah. I will be, per, uh, I will be tested, wait. I will be prosecuted to the highest degree. I will, I will die on the moon. I the last time you fight the Thresher Ma and found... Yeah, I hated that. That was real bad. Didn't like it. Uh-uh. Not, not a fan. Surprising. Surprising no one. Not a fan of that shit. Yeah, that was a uh, You need to turn back, Commander. You're going beyond the range of the operational area. God, where's the operational area then, mister? Know everything, apparently. Tell me where it is. I mean, have you pressed M yet? I have not. Hmm, okay. And what's this? The Alliance Training Ground. Wow, wow. So, oh, and debris is where you can get, like, a bunch of resources. Gotcha. There was a pressure mob. Or, oh, god, yeah. Ugh. Don't like that. Yeah, there, there's literally not a snowball's chance in hell if there wasn't born of a giant sandworm. Understandable, but please. Please, for the love of God. I'm not sending it to you. But I'm not looking it up. Just because I know of its existence does not mean that I'm going to go out of my way to curse myself in the process of cursing others. Sometimes it just be like that, though. Come on. There we go. Dude, I want to drive a car on the moon. Oops. Part of me is kind of terrified. Scared of the moon? No. The idea of driving something at like a third Earth gravity. Like imagine if you bump something and you just fucking Halo Warthog yourself into fucking... Uh, I'm in the void. Like, into the void. Let me out! Let me out! Alright, um... Okay, 
there's a way out over here. Come on. Please. 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 I just... Just... Please, please, please. Mm -hmm. Fucking piss on the moon! There we go. There we go. Here we go. I'm doing diddly, this. Get it. I'm putting myself in a hole and I got out of that hole. Yeah. No. If only half of the people getting canceled for doing stupid shit do the same instead of digging yeah. up Oh, threats. Shit, the moon is armed. Yeah, oops, I was fat fingering another button. There we go. Also, there we go. I've what? realized one of the reasons why you have such a hard time aiming. Why? Because it's because you are basically playing at max DPI. Oh yeah, maybe. If you slow down your your DPI a little bit, you can actually hit the broad side of the bar. Rude. I love, it's not, listen, you could probably be a very effective shooter player. You just don't oh have, my. like, you need to be able to control your mouse more than you do. That's fair. Whoops, did not mean to put a grenade there. Well. Okay, well. Did you? There it is. <laughs> You can press G to jet, jet down. it. I did press G. <laughs> okay, we're in here. The, if the moon had arms, do you think that they would be able to give a good hug? I mean, the moon does uh, uh, does have arms. Have you ever seen Unicron? Oh yeah, that's fair. That's just it. We're building Unicron. Let's go. It is no longer an alien structure. It is a completely man-made structure the size of the moon. Oh, fuck. Uh. Remember that you have, you have maxed out your assault right. You don't have any Oh shit. Not gonna fire? What? I'm trying to. There we go. I don't. Yeah. I... What? He is in Victor. That is new. I don't know. Am I? Am I dumb? Am I doing something wrong? Are you not pressing left click? No, I am. Like, can you just click it? You can't just hold it down with the shotgun. I know. I was also trying to shoot. Like, try to aim like this. Well, let's go. Do the power junctions blow up? Uh, probably. I oh, mean, they're in orange, so yes, yeah. I, I exploded one. It's, over now. it's fine. Uh, this way. Lots of, lots of doors in here. Also, there's lots of exclamation points everywhere. Yeah. 
I touch you? Cannot. Can't touch you either. It's because those aren't the things that are interactable in the room. That's fair. Listen, there were a bunch of exclamation points. I should have just. I should just check them out at least. Or do you have to blow up the VI conduits? I believe so, yeah. Alright, well. At bottom. What? Uh-oh. 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 We got them all, Shepard. And this one. Oh, yeah. That one. Perimeter secured. There we go. Well, goodbye. There. Back. Okay, we need to go here. Area secured. Part of me wonders if like mm -hmm. there's it's weird because there's no like interface part of this it feels like like if you yeah. go around the map a little bit yeah like you just kind of yeah. come in and yeah there's no like weird huh so yeah maybe we just have to blow the blow fuck out of the uh, one lights on the optical mainframes flicker and die the first of the three computing clusters containing the vi is offline all right well probably down to gtfo yeah All targets eliminated. Well, all right then. Yes, all targets eliminated. I hope. I don't know if there's gonna be any more of them drones. I go down this way. Oh. Okay. Very good. some other quirky things. Mm-hmm. There we go. Oh. Uh, well. That's it. Yes. I think it's just made to be a little unsettling. I mean, yeah. Oh. And I'd also strongly suggest checking out that debris that was on the map. Oh, you could go into each of those uh things. Oh where shit. The towers were. Hmm. Okay. All 
targets down. I just gotta do the same thing, I guess. Interesting. Oh, uh, there's some enemies over here. are all killed. Area secure. All right, sick. Uh over here. All right. All right. I, I also got an email from work and they're like, please fill out your emergency contact stuff. And I'm just like, like you guys haven't known who my emergency contact is for like 10 years now. Yeah. Uh, kinetic barrier field powering up through the bunk complex. Okay. Okay. Where's the last one? All targets down. Sick. Well, the bane of my life. Oh, whoa. Well. It keeps bringing up uh, everything in life, keeps bringing up the very painful fact that I don't ever actually. I remember the last four digits of your phone number. I can never remember the area code. That's completely I, I fair. I have it uh, on your phone. On my phone, so I'm yeah. like, using that. But it's just like. Y'all. Yeah. If you ever want to understand something, uh, understand that it does not mean I love my wife any less, but I can never remember her fucking number. If I, had, if I didn't have to make so many outbound calls in different places, I probably wouldn't remember your number. Also, your number is basically the area code. Yeah. And it's pretty easy now that I've lived here for like almost a decade that uh that I I know uh I know the area code here. <laughs> That'd be wild if I didn't. The second of the three computing clusters contained the VI is offline. Okay, sick. Well. 
I'll just... You done diddly did it. I, I done it. Um, now I just have to do it for the third one. Area secured. Then I'll go check out that debris. The debris. The debris. Oh, I think it's... Over you walked spot. right past the door. Yeah. Alright, 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 here we go. We are doing this. I'm doing this. I'm getting this done. Uh, I guess this way. Oh, great. Great? Oh. Uh. Back behind the shipping crate. Oh, there we go. Time for Frogger. Fuck. Fuck. There we go. Okay. Time to leave. Right. This. All right. So we've been to that one. We've been to that one. So now we just gotta go. That one. Felt like there was another one. I thought there were three. There is a third one. Oh, okay. So we've been to this one, been to that one, going to this one. At least I believe we've been to this one. Or haven't been to this one. Oh. Alright. Is this the one that we have not touched? We will find uh, out. Look at the map. Okay, yeah, this is the one we Back haven't touched. Attack. Well, hello. For me? Fuck. 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 Fuck! Try it again. Fuck. There we go. Oh, all right. Da da. Oops. This way. This way. Ah, I see you, you dirty bitch. Open. Okay. That's. Ah, uh, man, so many. Worse feel. All of them. All of the time. Yes. Additional security drones powering up. Ah, shit. Too the bad. Yes. Okay. Come on. Only a couple more to go. Okay, this is the last one in this room. Okay. Got that one. 
Oh, here. Oof. Let's, oh, shit. There they are. One over there. Shepard. Well. Oh, there it is. There we go. Burst of white noise over all frequencies nearly deafens. Your ha uh, your heart suit heads up display interprets it into a series of zeros and ones. Zero. Okay, so they repeat. I yeah, you're gonna look up the binary. Google, Google, show me this guy's balls, please. Oh my god. So it's zero one zero zero one zero 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 one zero 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 one oh one. Uh zero one zero one zero zero one zero one. It says help. Oh. Well, shit. Hmm. They repeat again and again the blanketing of all frequencies until the lights on the final VI cluster flick and die. Specialization class achieved. Five minute headpads, all right. We will do this. I do like the headpads. There it is. That hand on my head. Hand, hand, hand. Hand. Food, food, food. Food, food. Hand. His hand, hand, hand. Oh my gosh, I don't know if y'all have seen that video, but it makes me fucking crack up every time. Yes, put the spiky hairband thing. Yes. That is what you're touching. I'm sorry. Your specialization specialization class will replace your base class and the talents on the squad screen. Talent ranks in your base class transform or transfer over to your specialization class. Go to your squad screen to view bonuses you gain with each rank in your specialization class. Okay. Shock Trooper, highly trained killing machines. Shock troopers excel in all combat situations. Increases health, increases damage protection, improves the immunity or barrier ability, improves the adrenaline ability. Okay. Well, let's check that out real quick. Oh, did you not? You didn't read the other one. Oh, I didn't. Fuck. Hit squad real quick. Well, I mean, it's too late now. Just hit squad. Yep. Yeah. Also, you have 12 goddamn points. Yeah. So, Shock Trooper. Some immunity available for use more often. 6-6. Six, six. Also, uh, fitness. And I also would honestly strongly recommend, because of how often you use sniper rifles, uh -huh. get points in that. Because despite you using sniper rifles so often, like I mentioned, you uh -huh. have yet to put any points into it. That is correct. Increases damage done by your next sniper rifle shot. Fuck yeah, let's go. That's an active ability, so you're going to want to put that on your hotbar. Hell yeah. Immunity briefly, but incre or greatly increases your armor's protection, significantly reducing health damage in emergencies. 
Okay, alright, alright, okay. Cool. So, auto level. Lift lasts longer, takes less time to recharge, and allows you to hit more objects with a bigger field. Alright, and Garrus. Hmm? With uh, Liara, I would tell you next time that you have points to level up, max uh -huh. out warp. Oh, okay. Uh, level him up, increases assassination damage bonus. Alright, cool. And equipment, take all. Better. Yeah, okay. Taking this one. Done that. Okay, that's better. It's just, yeah, it's just better. Yeah, it's just a little bit better. I just want to make sure. That Honestly, before you look at all of the other, I would say if you have a higher version of the one you're already using, equip that one first and then compare. That's fair. Because you were using the Striker 4, and that's the Striker 6. Yes, so I will. Uh, equip. equip that, and then you compare so you can, you know, not... Yeah. So you can be like, oh, it's better than the shitty version of this. Yeah. Have mercenary five on. Medium or uh have you leveled up your armor at all? Uh yeah. Your skills? You oh yeah, you should be able to wear heavy armor now. Yeah. So if you can find heavy armor. I don't believe but for I for now, if your human armor is that it's because you have Merc 5. I don't have any more Mercs. Uh, yeah, and... I was just saying, you don't have to do that, but uh, I was saying, you don't have to... Uh, but, uh, you don't have to be like, oh, I have to upgrade... If you just have one that's an increased version of the same, then you upgrade that, then compare. Otherwise, you just go through and compare. That's fair. Also, add minute will, head time is off. I will also say the best armor in the game, I believe uh -huh. you have to scan all the keepers for. Oh, okay. And then you can buy it. And it's called That's... Spectre Gear. Oh, okay. And surprise, you have to buy it on the Citadel. Yeah, I kind of figured. Because that one yep. guy was on the Citadel who wanted to look at all the keepers. Yeah. Prodigy 4. Uh. Versa V. Yeah, but it's this one. Okay, Hydra 5 is just worse. Yeah, um, blue wire tool 1. Oh yeah, that one's very good. Yeah. Using equalizer 5. Equalizer 6. Six. 5, okay. Uh, Stinger 2. Don't have any other stingers. So 
That is a Riku 7. About Striker 7. Uh... I mean, uh -huh. you're not looking for an insanely high level of accuracy from I mean, a pistol. That's fair. If the power is like it's if it's worth dropping ten points in accuracy for a sixty points in damage increase, it's worth it. That's fair. And honestly, in most scenarios, your characters aren't going to be firing for four straight seconds, so it's not really worth it. That's fair. Oh, okay, this. Yes. Okay. Four, tsunami six. Yeah. All right. Well, we had that taken care of. Also, don't forget to check your, uh, so check your weapon attachments. Mm, right, because right, right. it feels like you're probably still using like basic rounds three. Yeah. Cryo round seven. I'll use. Because you have a bunch more stuff down below still. Yeah. Like your shredder rounds and. Oh, not, not. I was just saying you only went down like a couple rows. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Like. Tungsten round, like shredder rounds are good for organics, and I'm pretty sure that tungsten rounds are good against synthetics. So if you're going to be fighting pirates, you want organics. If you're going to be fighting geth, you want versus synthetics. That's usually how that works. Okay. But I think I don't actually. I th I'm pretty sure that's what tungsten does, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, shredder. This one's just better. Shredder. Um, put that one. Under six. Don't forget to like click on them and read what they do. Oh yeah. The num the numbers are not everything. Gotcha. Like the numbers are better. Uh, the higher the number, the better the version of that particular add-on it is. Mm -hmm. But not all add-ons are created equal. It's like plus 26% damage, minus 20% heat absorption. So you just overheat after fewer shots. Gotcha. Combat Scanner 5, for instance, you were using Combat Scanner 1. Hmm, okay. Um... I'm gonna go with this yeah, one. Like... About this one. 
Okay. Sniper. Three. This one and like for rail extension, I think is a pretty good one for yeah. Like, it's just like you're not looking to rapid fire. You're kind of look looking to fire, pop back into cover, and then fire again. Rail. The grenade launcher. That's fair. And check. Are you still using the? Yeah, you're anti using the anti thorium ga ga gas. Oh yeah, that's f yeah. I forgot about that. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay. Okay. We like. We like high explosives in this household. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna slap that on there. We go big me like big boom. I, I deserve like, it as a treat. I like explosions. Uh let's see. Armor plating two. Three, I mean. He blew it up. Never played these games though. Very fair. This is my first go through of them. Goose, I oh. think if you, I think that you would appreciate the level of uh, world building, and also Powering just up. like the because it, they, it, Drew Carpishin goes super in depth with like building out the world and building out who like these races are and what their governments are like and what their economies are like and you get to learn all about all of the cool ones i've heard really good things but i got zero attention span That's the good amazing. news is, is every interaction uh with the exception of like reading articles is completely voice acted yeah I'm almost there. That, that, that's the thing that really like sold me is the fact that if I uh, if I don't want to read, I can just choose not to. Yeah. I never learned to read. Hey, my name's Jared. I'm 19, and I never learned how to fucking read. <clears throat> Dude. Sorry, uh, the, the never learning to read thing reminded me of that fucking video that we watched earlier. Oh, yeah. Because, so there's um a pair of African dudes who, are, like, they do a thing called uh, uncomfortable movies. And it's they go back and they revisit, like, old children's movies or old, like, fa quotations, family movies. And they're just like, I don't know why I'm feeling kind of uncomfortable right now. But then you just like look at it and you just realize how deep racism permeates like yeah. that particular thing. And today, uh, it was Dumbo. Yeah, and I I I never catched it as a kid. But hearing like, some of the shit they said. The opening is very anti-black, and I did oh, yeah. not. I was like, oh, oh. Looking that this as an adult is a completely yeah. different experience. Just really bad caricatures. It's like real bad. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, because there there's a line in the song in the opening thing. It was just like we never learned how to read or write where the rowdy roused the bouts. I'm just like, hmm, that's not good. And then the rest of the song, it's just like, we slave all day. We don't know when we're going to get our pay. 
And then we waste it all away for the roustie routabouts and I'm roustabouts and I'm just like, ooh, oh, that, that, that is, that is, uh, what the kids call not good. Yeah. Because right. apparently on Disney Plus, there's actually a fucking warning on it now. Yeah. Um, so how do I get what back? Are you for? Uh, so I, uh, went to the rubble. I can't, I don't have a high enough. Uh, thing to do it. Um, okay, I hit salvage right there. Uh, yeah, the salvage is right here. Yeah. What, happens, uh, what happens if you press it? Mm. Electronic skill too low. Okay. Uh -huh. So then you get back in your thing, and I think you hit F okay. to return to the Normandy. Yeah. There we go. All right, well, let's see what we got. Travel to the Hercules system in the Attican beta cluster and find the drone containing the data module. All right. Seems okay, so, good. All right, so when you go to your navigation, uh huh, you're going to zoom all the way out and you're going to find Her Attican beta cluster. Uh-huh. And then you'll find Hercules. Gotcha. Also, don't forget to save every now and again. Yeah, that's fair. Alright. Vatican Beta. Yeah. Possibly. Um, That's weird. <coughs> I'm gonna try Armstrong Nebula. Message coming in from the brass at Arcturus. Oh, okay. Patching it through. Normandy, okay. Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Surveillance drones have identified geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong cluster. We need someone to take them out. Okay, any more information? Do you have any idea what they're after? Hard to say. They may be just gathering intel on us. Or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for hit and run attacks on human colonies. Hmm. You can count me I'm in. on it, Admiral. Finding Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting the Geth. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. We're transmitting all the locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hack it out. All right, well, real quick, I am gonna put on a blanket because I'm chewy. Yeah, my leggies are cold. Cold leg. Don't know which one that they want me to go into. 
I'll, ch I'll check them all out. Bam, she. I think that uh, you're looking probably at a container. Yeah. So I don't think you have to check every single cluster in the game. Fair. Alright, let's see. Anji orbits the Vashmi binary. Giant stars Vashmi A is a blue star of spectral class A4111, which burns at the half again, the temperature of Sol. Vamashi B is an aging red giant of class M5111, over 220 times the size of Sol. Maji has a thin atmosphere of methane and carbon monoxide. The difference in temperature between the hemisphere facing the suns and that facing deep space causes constant wind stirring the silica and so sodium dust of the surface. Unsavory characters from the Terminus systems occasionally use Maji for the form of cruel sport, dumping slaves, hostages, quarreling, shipmates, or even when when boarded, vicious animals on the surface. One must kill the other before they will be rescued from the lethal radiation of the giant stars. Okay. Damn. Fucking well, wild. Yeah. Orbital period is 5.9 Earth years. Holy shit. Alright. Landing in. Let's go. Except the squad. Wow. I guess get burped on. Yeah. Wow. Shit's toxic. Like me. Uh, bleh. Like Brittany always said. All right, let's check where to go. This question, anomaly. I'm gonna check this out first. Hey, here we go. Hate driving these things, but whatever. Is there anything of note here that you're looking for? Yeah, because... there's... There's a question mark destination. Mm -hmm. Ah, what's this? What? What are this? What? What is these? Stars look so fucking cool. Oh, yeah. And they're like, blue is like the hottest temperature you can get, right? Uh, if I remember right, one of the, I believe, white, uh, with stars tend to be the hottest. Oh, okay. What is this? Oh, come on. Oh, okay, what are you? That coppery, finely green brand coffee. Love that stuff. Oh, is that a copyright friendly green? Oh, uh, no. It's just, a, uh, it's a live 2D fake Starbucks cup. That, that's, that's what they're saying. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't get the joke. Copyright <laughs> friendly. Green brand coffee. Oh. What color is Starbucks coffee? Oh, okay. Sometimes. Or what color is associated with them? Yeah, sometimes my brain does not understand a joke. Survey it's, mineral. It's, it's okay. It, my wife sometimes has a wheel of Parmigiano Reggiano inside of her head at all times. Yeah, and then I keep grading it and grading it, but nobody's telling me to stop. Uh, say. Sometimes, though, it's replaced with a block of Swiss cheese. Yeah, a little that's holes in my that, memory. That's specifically when trying to, you know... Remember things. Uh, remember things. 
I have the dumb, I am sick, so my jokes aren't landed. It's fine. I'm just, I'm just very dumb. Uh, rare element surveyed. You have successfully surveyed a large deposit of thorium. Ooh, okay. Fun fact, thorium, even though it's spelled like that, is pronounced therium. Therium, gotcha. Do not ask me why. I hate it, but that's English. how it's pronounced. English is, English is a bad language. I mean, it's probably because it's also rooted in Latin and or Greek. Yeah. Um, bah, bah. Also, Husbando is a cool PNG. Yeah. Thank you. I we, appreciate it. If you've ever seen my old PNGs that I used to use for Fugi, uh, they're made by the same person who does his. So they make they make some high quality stuff. Oh yeah. I was actually gonna look into contracting them to make me a new reactive. Oh, that's cute because my current one is very good, but also it's my old design. Yeah, you want an updated one. Although they did get the uh, arms, which is cool. Yes, but that, that, that's because I asked for that specifically. It that's wasn't fair. because, I didn't even have my fucking design at the, like my 2.0 at the, at the time. Oh yeah, that's fair. Um... Is this question mark? Okay. place the flag here so I can <coughs> um my car landed directly on it oh yeah there's there's a thing down there. Right. Fuck. There we go. Korean insignia recovered. The strange looking sensor has some ancient graffiti scribbled on it. It appears to be marked with the Edesian colony insignia. Okay. Alright, well. Do the X. Uh. Right. Ba 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 ba. Is there another question mark? What the fuck? Mm. Uh, I guess not. That's weird. I mean, oh, I see. I see. have a couple other things you know that, that you can go group around with. Yeah. Let me be a little goofy. This... It's time to fucking go sicko mode. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's gone sicko mode. Okay, I need to park this on a flat surface. Cannot put it on my chest, I'm sorry. It will be too big. My boobies are very big, yes. Big, big boobs. Oh, hello. What's Discovery. Skull? <clears throat> this massive skull is scored by deflected mass accelerator shots. The xenobiology files in your hard suit computer can't identify the species. It must have been brought here from an unknown world. Okay, alright. Weird. Um. Yeah, let's go over here to the debris. Uh, where the f I think I gotta go up. There's the car. There's my fucking car. Okay. Two debris. Oh, 
boy. Fall baby. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine driving a car like this? Uh, it would be wild. Yeah. Fucking anything with six wheels is... Oh, I couldn't imagine doing anything. I would... I would absolutely eat shit. Oh, I see it. I see you over there, you little shit. Crash plobe salvage. Damn it. Fine. That's why, uh, usually you'd want to bring that's why you know having the the like decryption or the electronics on garris is really important oh okay like honestly you don't really need to worry mm. to with auto leveling them up i would say for the next like several points that you can uh-huh make sure that it is a uh you're leveling up his like decryption or his electronics skill because oh, okay. He can use those to help you. Okay. Sick. Well, here we go on the other side of the map. Alrighty. Whoa. I. With some of these planets, I don't know, they have, I, I guess it's just for gameplay, but they have a lot of the same geography, I feel like. It's a lot like just roaming around on Mars. Yeah. Like, I think it would be super cool if we had like a different, like if we had like a submarine that we would have to go on like water-based planets. That'd be interesting. Like, that would be fun. I agree. Mm -hmm. You also gotta remember, this game came out in 2007. That's fair. Ooh, so yeah. we're, only, we're only, like, we're only, like, you know, Jesus Christ, I about said 19 years, and I'm like, that's not right. Yeah. 2023, 23 minus 7 is 16. Yeah. Oh god, this game was released 16 years ago! Ah, uh, fuck! Alright, I see stuff up there. This game. Yeah, this game came out during the Bush administration. You know what would be cool? If, like, they had a really hot planet or, like, a hot star that we had to be on and we couldn't, uh, we couldn't touch the surface for more than a few minutes. That sounds miserable. So, uh, if it's a small, like, if it's a small one, like a short mission, or if we had, like, a gaseous planet, we would have to have special boots that let us walk on, like, gas and shit. See, the problem with that is that, for the most part, the big thing that Drew Carpishin was trying to go with is making these technologies like, believable. I gotcha. So, like, he really did not lean into the whole, like, like, oh, okay. like the, the fantastical element of, he did not really lean into the fantastical element of uh, sci-fi more than anything. He mostly was just kind of like, Kind of like, I want this to be a sci-fi world that this is like, yeah, no, this would be believable. I gotcha. And yeah, I, I, so I think that that's a little out of the, the realm of like, oh yeah, let's just walk on gas giants. That's fair. Like, the, are there, I think that there is like different sci-fi places where it's just like they do get to like harvest and like, cause like Bespin in Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, is basically a city highlighting, uh, uh, highlighting, uh, a gas dump. Yeah. True.
fun. We got one more. Oh boy. Alright, there we go. Now we gotta get up here. Wonder. Oh god, I wonder what we're doing up here. Oh, signal's jammed. Fuck. Ah. Ah, I see. to do that. I'm gonna go around and check it out. Yeah. Uh, okay. Ugh. All right. It's gonna be negative 35 to negative 40 tonight. Yeah, it's getting cold around here too. Don't, don't like that. I know right now we're at like zero degrees. Or wait, are you in? Are you in Celsius? Okay, I don't know what negative. I don't know what negative thirty-five in Celsius is. I'm not really good at uh, change rate things. Well, fifty degrees is a hundred and six Fahrenheit. Hmm. For context. There. So it would probably be closer to like negative 60? Negative 50? Oh. Oof. 30, okay, 31. How is that only 31? Huh. It's negative 31 Fahrenheit. Gotcha. Do I get in this thing? Do I survey this thing? Is this a base that I can get into or something? Forty-two is an actual point where the two. Up. Oh shit! Okay. Um. Not quite sure what they want me to look at. I mean, I don't think they want you necessarily looking at anything now. You've already cleared it out. I think that there's more guests, like. It says that there's more guests, like, out here. Huh, okay. So I think that that's what those other two X's might be. But I've been to this skull. The Turian wreckage and the the weird skull. Mm -hmm. Is there any more as you go further along? Um, or is this, like, kind of the end of the road? Seems like it's the end of the road, but I could go back down through here. See if there's anything. But I didn't see anything on the way up, so I don't know. Unless there's something that I can get into this area, but I don't really see anything. Unless is there something down here?
Uh, no. No, there is not. Is there data that I need to collect from here? Why is it making that noise? What is making what noise? Oh. Fuck. <laughs> Garrus. Good? He's doing a little he's doing a little wiggling. Yeah, right here it's like a weird whirring Shoot sound. It. with the Mako on. Oh, yeah. One's the Mako again. The Mako's your tank. Gotcha. The thing that you've been driving around. That's fair. I didn't remember the name of it. Listen, I'm bad with names. What's going on with that? Maybe... Look at that noise again. Yeah, like the music cuts out and it's just this weird whirring sound. Hmm. Yeah, I think that that's just... I don't think it has... Okay, I was Probably. just weirded out because it cuts the music. I mean, the only thing they said is that after you killed everybody, they're like, oh, there's probably other, there's another outpost or something like that. That's the that's only thing that they've really indicated. That's fair. Um, all right, let's get back in the core. Let's go. Hey, JJ, thank you so much for the 14 months. Fucking wild. He said. Mm. What are you? No, let me even back up there. Fuck. You gotta keep going. Gotta get back up to that thing. No. Fuck! That didn't help. So, did you have Mass Effect now? I, I mean, yeah, I am playing Mass Effect right now. Wahoo! Okay, there it is. What are you? 
You are nothing. That was right. where the turret that you killed was. Mm, fair, fair, fair. I don't think you oh. need to really worry about much now. Okay. Have you grabbed all of the, like, other stuff? I believe so. There, it looks like there's a flower thing over here, so I'm gonna check that out real quick. It's not on my map, but... There. Uh, no, 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 no. Let me up. Why can't up, I please. climb vertical walls? I want to be Spider Man. Please. Please. Let me climb. You're, you're, you're not going to be able to climb up walls, huh? I'm sorry to tell you this, but it is unfortunately a okay. thing. I mean, it gets me pretty close. Uh, I want it so bad. Fine. Right. Okay. Doing it. Getting there. thing. One. I just want to look at it. I'm gonna run. Fuck. Okay. This way. Oh, it's this. With this. Bay mineral. Alright. Uh... Light mineral surveyed. You have successfully surveyed a large deposit of magnesium. Thick, nasty dunks. Well, I think this is all that there is on this. I mean, it did just give you 13,000 credits. Yeah. I think, I think that's all on this map. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna return to the ship. Yeah. Here we go. Good boy. Oh, okay. Well, let's look what else is in here. Almost regal. Alright. Alamus is a hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of sodium darkening its atmosphere. Jesus. Yeah, we're oh, looking that's right. At, at, so we're looking for the Attican Beta cluster. Attican Beta. Um. Because we went to Hercules and then we didn't find the one. I didn't think you went to Hercules. I thought that you. Yeah. Uh... Watch. Because I gotta. Or wait, shit. Where'd it go? Oh, Pharaohs. I believe it's in the Attic and Beta. Oh, okay, okay. Attic and Beta cluster. Hercules. Hercules. Gotcha. We solved the puzzle. Yeah, you went to the. You basically, you went to a completely different thing. Hmm. And then you're like, oh, I wonder where it is. Listen. <laughs> I'm just trying I'm just trying to do my brain thing. It's okay. I know you're a goober. Yeah. The Taurus is a hydrogen helium gas giant with high level decks. Of sulfur clouds. A layer of hydrocarbons has formed deeper in the atmosphere. Vast electrical storm fronts can be seen flickering across the dark side. Oh god. Uh, at least the days are early. 
Oh, uh, whoops. Literally, you would not have a birthday. Yeah. Morning, Shy. How's it going? Hey! Oh. I not. No, it's a gas giant. Oh, right, right, right. I thought it said survey for a second. <clears throat> Hang on. Got something in my throat. Get that water. Hmm. Alright. Warning level one toxic hazard. Alentia. Uh. Alen. Alentia. Elitania appears to be a world admittedly suited for colonization. Sadly, appearances are deceiving. It is covered by a verdant car carpet of mosses, algae, and lichen, and pres uh, possesses a thick oxygenated atmosphere. But the animal kingdom is a web of microscopic symbiotic creatures. These are impossible to filter, and the air and the necessary for the, nat or the native life to thrive. Unfortunately, they also cause anaphylactic shock when inhaled by non-native life. Oh, that sucks. In short, settlement requires either fully sealed environment suits or replacement of the entire world's ecosystem. Some have proposed limited coloniza colonization at altitudes above the symbiotic's range or in areas where favorable winds keep the air clean. Hmm. Ugh. Hate that. Going to work on some SDV Elliot fan art. Hell yeah. Max Effect so far has been good. I'm still on the uh, first one. But I'm having a lot of fun. Alright. Go! We dropping in, boys. Got a number two coming out my, my ass. ass. <laughs> Things about to get brown. brown. Get, get brown. brown. One shit on the floor right now, and I just shut a fucking kidney out. Thank you for the lurk, Shy. I appreciate it. Um, let's real quick look at the squad. Nobody have points. Okay. Nope. Well, map time. Frolicking fields. Yes. Uh, let's look at this anomaly real quick. What the fuck is it? I do like this really glass. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say. I like the sky too. Yeah, do you see the, the, the asteroid the ring. ring? Yeah. Yeah, the thing that I continuously love about this game uh, is just how, like, even though you have to kind of deal with, you know, bullshittery on a, uh, you got to deal with bullshittery in terms of, like, oh, you know, mass relays, element zero, like, that kind of shit. It's just, like, yeah. yeah. Like that, you gotta have some amount of fantasy in your science. Yeah. To get science fantasy. It's like science fiction. But Absolutely. at the same time, I love a lot of the, like, here's some actually, like, plausible environments in which these planets could exist. That's fair. Nobody knows. Intended paths are for squares. They oh. also remember you can press space to jump. Yes. I love you just fucking <laughs> ping pong in across everything. I'm a pinball. Ooh, this is a pinball. Hello. Hello, pinball. What the fuck are you? Oh no, I don't touch it though. Hi, sir. Watch, it's like liquid mercury or something. Oh yeah, recover artifact. Uh. Fuck. Fuck.
Okay. Hello? Examining the sh- Examine the boy. <laughs> oh, we're pondering Examine the orb. Examine the boy. Examining the strange Prothean artifact reveals a small egg, irregular, uh, irregular, fuck, why can't I say that? Irregular, fuck, I can't say that word for some reason. Uh, irregularly. 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 There we go. Shaped slot on the underside. It looks as if it's some, uh, if some would fit some kind of oddly shaped key or trinket. But where such an ob, where such an object could be found is a mystery you are unlikely to ever solve. Well, I forgot my keys to my orb. I say, I mean, <laughs> I also have an irregularly shaped hole in my underside. Yes, this is true. Your butthole looks like Africa. Bless the rain. It's <laughs> down in it. Oh. Africa. Hello. Hey, okay. Little floaty dooter. Oh, flo oh, there's another one. Look at him go. There's little floaty oh. guys. They're so cute. Also, hun, them? if you look underneath that level one hazard in the bottom right, yeah. see that little meter that's going up? Oh, I gotta not touch it. Full, you're gonna start uh, taking damage. Uh, there we go. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Let me look at the yeah, map. That, that, that's why it says level one hazard. That's yeah. That's fair. Whoops. Fun. Let's look at the debris first. Wahoo! Alrighty. I'm also going to Google three. why you have the Lorik team thing still going. The what? Uh... The Lorik team quest. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Close and personal with these mount hands. Okay. Now we're up. Up. So apparently the Lord can pick him uh that you have. Uh-huh. Uh, that's gonna stay in your inventory for the rest of the game. Oh! Is it something that happens during the second game? No. The reason why is because you're supposed to... There's one of two ways you can get a garage pass. But the smuggling one that you did uh -huh. is the alternate path. Ah. Normally there's a whole other, like, quest that you're supposed to do with Lauren King and, like, espionage and, like... Corporate roots and bullshit like that. Oh, that okay. Get you a garage pass. Oh, okay. But because you got the smuggling thing and uh, you already talked to the dude mm -hmm. and got the thing that you needed from quarantine, yeah. you, don't, you can't finish this quest. That's fair. So that Novaria quest is going to be in your main mission for the rest of the game. Huh, okay funny because that was a bug in PS3. Huh. They just put a thing to it and they're just like, eh, no. They're we're not gonna like, fix eh, it. We're not fixing it. Like, it doesn't affect anything. Yeah. Uh, it's just, uh, because you did it the other way, that quest line will remain on Interesting. Right. Uh, 
Ah, I see it. Alright, what are you? Damn it! Okay, fine. Alright, let's look at the map again and go to the place. Wahoo! We are doing it. We are making it happen. Here we go. Oh. Here I go now. Uh, I keep landing in not fun places. I just want to do the equivalent of a cannonball off of this ledge. Just do a quadruple front flip. Yeah. Let me have my acrobatics in this car. This would be a fun place to like four wheeler around. Oh yeah. The environment doesn't literally kill you. True. I've never driven an ATV. They're fun. That's what I've heard. I've been on one, like, when I was a kid, one of my uncles had me on his, but not, uh, not me. Not me doing the driving. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Um, aha, you. Oops. This is the surveillance drone, but where's the data module? A monkey-like creature seems to have made off with the data module. Oh, oh shit. Oh, this will be fun. Alright, do we get a check for stupid monkey? Yep, then it gave you an indicator to check your map. Gotcha. Just the way. First, hop into the, uh, code so you don't yeah. Come on. I'm here if you need me. Oh, is it... Is it hitting Garrus? Can I please get in the vehicle? I don't want to highlight any of you. Hunt. There we go. Okay, monkey indicator. Monkey colony. Yeah, let's check that out first. Mmm, monkey. Rika, of course. Uh, what is princess? Yes. All right. Oh, Rika, you're such a good princess. Here you go. I am. I am going to the monkey colony to get the monkey. We're not here to spank the monkey. No, not yet. Not on this hell site. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if I did that, my dick would explode. Jeff Bezos personally would leap out of your computer and Ugh. flatten your dick. Honey, it's your, it's 4 p.m. It's time for your daily dick flattening. Yes, dear. All right, monkeys, here I come. Alright, you bitches. Ugh, you guys suck. You guys suck to look at. This is why you humans are so fine with vegetation. Oh. Uh, yeah, probably. Monkey does not have the module. Monkey does not have it. Monkey. Hello? Okay. So many of them. Ah. Uh, what if the what if the one that had it is the one that killed you or that you killed? I feel like the he would drop it. Yeah, like, talk to this I would one. say you'd have to look around and check all the corpses, probably. Yeah. 
Um, monkey corpses, uh, despawn. Well, I think to talk to all the monkeys. Yeah. Well, Hold on. not here. Let me... What's the name of the planet you're on? Uh, hang on, let me get in the vehicle. I'm gonna die. Okay, um... Uh... El... Uh, El Tanya. Daddy Bezos can take my penis shits because it, it causes me endless grief. That's... that's fair. Hi, Elgoth, how are you? Doing good? That's good. Let's see, let's... Place it okay. here. Uh, huh? Okay, yeah, so this is not the right location. Okay, well, I didn't kill an, an, a monkey that was important. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure you didn't just goof and, like, soft block <laughs> quest because you went last and... I saw them! I said, oh, they're ugly, and then I'm just like, well, then I just started blasting. Listen, I don't know if they were going to attack me or not. So in self-defense, I have shot them. I'm already dealing with a really bad atmospheric bacteria. Who knows what they could have gotten. Oh, hello. Are you gold? You're some sort of ore. Yeah, gold. Can I... there we go. Fuck. There we go. You have successfully surveyed a large deposit of gold. Very cool. Alright. Hell yeah. Have some gold in this baby. Here I come. It's me, I'm coming. Boston. I'm busting all over the fields. I want fast. Busting it down. Yeah, I busted down for a real one. Ah, uh, more monkey. Alright, well. Yeah. Hello? Does not have it. No. Uh. Birch the monkeys. No. Stop making that noise. Hate that. Hate that noise. What do you do? Do you have one? No. I have checked. One that I haven't checked yet. Ah, you. What about you. I have not checked you. Nope. He wanted to come with you. Yeah, he wants a fucking ride. He ne he needs to go back to his mom's house. Forgot his u uniform for work. Got those monkeys. Okay, weird. Yeah, I hate them. Love them. Oh god, I don't like the slappy fingers. Honey, you'd hate to see monkeys' actual fingers. Though. I know. I don't like them. I fucking adore monkeys. They're so stupid. Yeah, I it used to like be... little weird mammalian aliens. Yeah, I used to be super into them when I was a kid. I really liked spider monkeys. Um, but yeah, I... Yeah, I, I don't like those weird I particularly love feet. lemurs. That's fair. Monkey. Hmm. Monkey. Alright, we gotta go over this way. Oh, uh, look at that weird moon. that on my map. Got 
gotta go around, apparently. I can't just push my way through Solid Mountain. In, uh, Skyrim horse. Yes. Ah, uh, to be a horse in Skyrim. You know, I don't think that there was ever a time that I actually fucked the horses in, uh, Skyrim. I literally just ran everywhere because I did not give a fuck. That's fair. We'll check the debris in a minute. Oops. Something's mildly different about this one. Yeah, did they build a spaceship? Hello. The monkey used the module and is now spaceworthy. Yes. It's too smart now. We have to put him down. Hello? Does not have the module? Okay. Here we go. Ah, okay. Yes, I will enter the mine. <laughs> I will enter the mine. Uh And they call it a mine! <laughs> a mine! Not a yours, a mine. Oh, I was quoting Lord of the Rings. Ah. Uh. <gasps> a monkey. Yeah. Also a kit on your right. Yeah. Alright, sick. I think there was a module on your left. Yeah. Right? Huh. Okay. Um. Monkeys? Oh, you're here. Okay. What about you? <laughs> oh, fuck. Talk to you. Oh, hello. Override. Maybe... Ta-da! Oh, I need to speak with you. Nope. God damn it. Where? Why do they hide me? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh. Um. Okay. Think. Here. Uh, okay, maybe it's not this way, because we just came from there. So... Maybe it's that area up to the north of the big room. Did you already go in there? Which one? That... The, the room at the northeast part of the big room. Uh, the I think... I think that's where that's, we came from. That's, that's the west. Oh, whoops. Oh, you mean We're this talking, one? Look at the big room. The top right. Uh, yeah, that's going up. Yeah, that's the one that I was gonna put the marker on. Okay. So I couldn't tell which one we had come from, but we I looked we came from here, so I was gonna put this one on there. Let's go have I talked to this monkey? It looks like I have. You good, buddy? Yeah, I've talked to you. Oh, I haven't talked to you though. Come here. Here. Okay. Well. Wow. I also want to mention that in my original playthrough of this game, I actually didn't do hardly any side quests. 
So a lot of these are brand new for me. Hell yeah. Do you have the module? He dropped the data module. Oh fuck. It's a miracle. The data module is still he intact. He dropped the data module. Your pilot should be able to relay this info to your superiors. Sick. All right, well, see ya, monkeys. Wait, there's a there's a thing you can open up in there. In that oh. room. Ah, I see. Uh. Fuck. Ah. Uh. Fuck. Try it again. Oops. Fuck. Fuck. Alright, let's try it again. Even though you need to be quick, you're being impatient. This is correct. I can do this. There we go. Okay, well, bye, monkeys. And now you need to get the hell out. Yeah, before any dumb shit happens, I don't want it. How uh, many? But oh, it's fuck. like if Greedo and Diddy Kong had a baby together. Ah, oh, shit! There's people here. Okay. What the fuck was this? Well, okay then. Where are you from? What was that? please. Okay. Well, we done did it. What? Oh, thank you for the hydrate. I will hydrate here just in a second.
here we go. Hmm. Time to get the fuck out of here. It's time for no more monkey. No more monkey business. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ooh, ee, ee, ah, ah. You know what? I think that it, I think that honestly, there are far worse, uh, superpowers out there than monkey like, you know, reflexes or abilities. Yeah. Like right. hell. Having a prehensile tail that you can swing from sounds like a cool ass power. Oh yeah, I would love I would love to be like that. Super stretchy too. Mm. And I can pick stuff up normally with my feet. That's pretty cool. Mm. All right, off to the anomaly. I'm gonna fix that thing so good. Imagine all the other things you could do with this super stretch and prehensile tail. Exactly. Dude, I could I could cook I could cook so many meals while doing something at the same time. Like imagine like texting somebody while using your tail to stir food. Exactly. Also, you can't pick up things with your feet. Uh, I'll do like the little toe picky uppy, but like I meant like actual like gr like grip, like with thumbs. Cause yeah, I do, I do the little picky uppy thing. Um, but yeah, I want I want to I want to be able to hold things with a whole foot. If we're talking about like borderline monkey feet. Mm -hmm. Uh. Good. Oh. <laughs> um. What about monkey feet? Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm working on a thing. Yeah. Um. Uh, but, like, I'm the person who can, like, throw things and, like, I can effectively play basketball with socks and the laundry hamper. Yeah, I feel that. All right, let's go. So hang on, I gotta check something real quick. Okay. All good. There we go. Okay. Let's get back to it by me. A stretch. I will stretch here in one second. That stretch, thank you. 
Oh wait, no. The anomaly was this thing. Fuck. I don't I mean, think the module is going to, uh... Ah, here it is. What's this one? Oops. Oops! I'm a dummy. I'm a big old silly. Hmm. Let's fucking go. All the way back to the other half of the planet. I misinterpreted a thing. Oops. I would you look at that? It's the actions of my own. It's the consequence consequences of my own action. You fucked around and now you're finding out. Yeah, I'm finding out very well. Oh. Oh man. Oh shoot. Oh dang. Okay. Let's. Let's do it to it. Lots of... Lots of hills. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. I won't try to climb on this one. But, just so you know, I am disappointed. Thoroughly. Thoroughly disappointed that I cannot climb walls. Feels very homophobic. Fucking go. Come on. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. No. Just wanna climb the mountain. It's always gotta be an uphill battle. Sometimes you wanna make it move. Sometimes you're gonna have to lose. I don't remember how it goes. It's the climb. Gay culture is being vaguely lost at all times. Well then, I I hate to break it to you, but I'm the gayest person alive. You're a you're a fucking gay champion. I am a fucking home of sexual. There are two wolves inside you, and they're both boys, and they're kissing. <laughs> Alright, where the fuck this at? Ah, oh, there the fuck this at. Out of the machine. There we go. Alright, let's go. We got the shit to fix you. Hello? Can I not put that? Can I not? Hello? I... Why can I not... Can I not fix you? Hi, Garrus. Right behind you, Shepard. That's not what I wanted. Was it a salvage thing? Uh... I thought it was this thing. I mean, yeah, but the mod you were trying to get the module out of it, but then you found out that it was a, uh... Uh, you found out that the module was taken by a monkey. Yeah, and I got the one with the module. I don't know why... I don't know what's going on. Like... Look at my inventory. Well, I can't look at my inventory, so I don't know. I mean, Enemy I think you're fine. Get back in here. I mean, I think that you completed it by going through the monkey thing. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Well, we did it. The monkey. Whoa. Alright, let's get more of this done. Uh. Okay, we looked at that one, I believe. 
Dead of Horan. Dead of Horan is a small rock planet with a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfate. The surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of sulfur with deposits of boron. I'm. Oh god. Ugh. That sucks. You're the last very one. Very stinky. Literally. Very big, very stinky. The, proximate, the proximity of the energetic star Hercules causes the constant blue and violet aurora in Sid. Uh, in Sid. Sigsid? Sigsid. Nitrogen argon atmosphere. During the periods of increased solar flares, the aurora are bright enough to read by on the surface and can be seen with off the shelf optics from a distance of several AU. Sighted scorching hot surfaces is mainly composed of magnesium with deposits of iron. A surprisingly variety, a surprising variety of simple carbon-based life flourishes in a complex network of cave systems and wind through the crust, protected from Hercules heat at radiation. Okay, that's that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Let's survey. While scanning sighted, you discovered a large debris filled Geonosi Chronosis orbit. Uh, Chief Engineer Adams conducted several detailed sweeps of the area and dedicated a few items of interest, including a League of One medallion encased in lead molding. Huh, alright, well, what do we do now? <laughs> We looked at this one as gas. So. Colonel. Have found a Solarian artifact. Keep looking for more. Uh. Alright. Solarian artifact. Uh, let's see. Uh, get out of here. Frog, sentry, fix, hawking, rune, Gemini, Hades. Voyager, Armstrong, Artemis Tau, Hades Gamma, Droid, Novaria, Local Cluster, Citadel, okay. Um, maybe in this one? Novaria. What you, wait, what are, you, uh, what are you looking for? Uh, I'm looking for, oh gosh, let me, I'm looking for, uh, Solarian artifacts. Oh, you'll find those as you explore other... Oh, uh, okay. So yeah. you're looking for UNC Geth incursion? Yeah, are located They're... in the Gargarian, Treshikova, Hong, and Rishmi systems. In the Armstrong cluster. Yeah. All right, Armstrong cluster it is. And say you had I know you had already gone to the Armstrong cluster one time at least. Yeah, zoom out. This is go. Ashney Hong Boba. This one. All right. Antibar. 
Antibar is a cold uh, terrestrial world with an atmosphere of methane and argon. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of iron with deposits of magnesium. The world has been noted as possible target for long-term terraforming. If the atmosphere could be increased to the thickness of the Earth's, the global average temperature would rise by 10 degrees Celsius. Antibar's com combination of low temperatures, high speed surface winds, and low visibility make it dangerous to explore on foot. 3.2 Earth years, five. Oh god, okay. Land, land in there. Big landing. Bop, bop. Except the squad. Here we go. Falling again. This is a ninja Fortnite screaming, where are we dropping, boys? Oh, that fucking guy. He's an interesting one. Whoops. That one. Squad. Okay. Okay. Map. Check out Anomaly first. Uh, I would hate to live on this planet. It sucks. Mm. It's like fucking hot. Yeah. Alright, we're almost there. Oh, there are two anomalies. Okay. Interesting. Anom anomalies? I'm on anomalies. Oh, and an extra thing here. Oh god. Oh no! <laughs> I hate it! Your old I hate it here. Get up, you stupid bitch. The vehicle and the human corpse is shown in the telltale signs of the Geth weapons fire. The Geth have been mangled by the Thresher Maw. At least they got what was coming to them. Get dumped on! Oh god. Oh yuck. Yucky. Oh yucky. That's kinda yucky, huh? 
found something over here, which I believe was this. Um, there's something over this way. Yeah, I get fucking taken. He, they just collectively got a dump taken on their chest. We looked. I went this way. Oh yeah, what the fuck is this? One of the same things that we saw on the other planet, but no orb. The fuck? Where my orb at? Cover artifact. Oh no. Yeah, baby. Prothean data disk recovered. Searching the ruins, you discover a pro. Prothean data disk. It must have been dropped by one of the Thresher Ma's many victims. Gee, I wonder where you can use that. Oh, oh, I can go back to the thingy. In sort, insert the orb. Alright. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there is still an anti bar. Wasn't there like gas camp? That you were supposed to destroy? Uh, yes. Um, there's some stuff over here that I gotta check real quick. Or uh, maybe that was most of it. Alright, um, also that. Uh, I want to get the debris right there. Mm -hmm. Wahoo. This one is a lot less mountainous, which I am very happy about. Mm. Boing. Something something without a base, without a trace. Something like that. Boing. Boing. Whoa. All right. Ellen. Almost there. It is in my sights. <coughs> Okay. Okay. Aha, I see it. There we go. What the fuck are you? Ah, skill too low, fuck. Angry. Has Garrus leveled up yet? No, he is not. Go here. Ugh. Why is my shit gotta be jammed? Where is it? Right on top of them. Oh, uh, that's not it. I'm like right on top of them. 
not on top of the, the base, there's an artifact if you hop down off of that. Oh. It's the point where your tank goes right there. Yeah. Wait, that's the electronic point too low. Yeah. Um, map. No? Maybe it's not. Let me so check it out. So if you look at your map? Uh huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're in there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see now. So, if you go around the rock thing there, uh -huh. basically you follow that the the edge of that rock, the rock. Uh, you'll come across an opening that lets you go into that X area mm, instead okay. of trying to crawl straight up that, which I'm pretty sure you can't do. True. Let's try that. Doing the right thing. Okay. Here we go this way. Walk yeah. past it. I walked past it. Fuck. Alright. Let me go back. Basically, follow that rock on your left. Uh huh. Checking the map. That's everything. Where is it? Here we go. Oh, oh shit, what the fuck is this? Ah! Oh no. He's been exploded. Alright, very good, very cool. <laughs> Uh, now I think that, that should be everything, right? Yeah, I believe so. Like, I know just the bullets will do it, but I love having the things explode in one shot. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, it is absolutely satisfying. Alright, Colonel. Um, so I believe we did that one. Uh, found data disk. Okay, so we've completed these, I believe. Um, after talking to Rex, you learn that he's looking for family ceremonial armor. It was taken by the Turians after the Krogan Rebellion and now profiteer named Ton Actus. 
Uh, hey, Lily, how's it going? I don't know where I would go for that exactly. Well, you hit the plus. Oh, you're correct. Uh, base Argus somewhere. Buster. Okay. However, Argus. uh, you still need to be here for the remaining two gas incursions. Mmm. Okay. Uh. How many? Uh, the, side, the the gas incursions. You need to hit plus. To yeah. Look where you're supposed to go. Outposts are located. Okay, so we need to go Gagarin, uh, Hong, and Vashmi. Okay, so I think I remember where those are. It's where we just are. Uh, where and by system it means the solar system. Yeah. So where we currently are is Terish, uh, Terish Bova. Yeah. So Gagarin. Gagarin was not one of the ones that we've already gone to. No, we haven't gone to one yet. We've only went to the the Terakov or Terlov. Yes. Uh, we've, we've gone to two. Have we? Yeah. Remember the the one that you literally sat there staring at the, the like X that was buzzing for like ten minutes? Oh yeah, that's fair. I couldn't that was remember. The first one. Gotcha. Pressure. Pressure is a relatively small hydrogen helium gas giant with large amounts of hydrocarbons in the middle layers of the atmosphere. When the Krogan rebellions ended three millennia ago, the Turian chief of, novel, of naval operations, a distinguished soldier named Merrick Curry, declared his, immediately re his immediate retirement. He disappeared into what was the then uncharted territory. It was the only 200 years ago that the ship was found on the surface, Prussia's largest moon. It had landed gently and been deliberately shut down. Of Admiral McCurry's, however, no trace was ever found. 0.7 Earth years, 60. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Dude literally said, I, I'm out. Yeah. He just pre signed and faded away. <laughs> Rangri. Oh. Rangri sounds like something I would order at the sushi bar. Yeah. Rangiri is a small barren uh, oh gosh, terrestrial I world. I Rangiri. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. Listen, my brain does the thing. Uh, while it possesses a reasonably uh, reasonable temperature climate and a number of useful resources, no mining corporation is willing to risk investment. A rogue planetoid dubbed Vots by the initial Solarian surveyor team entered the system approximately 10,000 years ago and was trapped in a decaying orbit around Rang Rangiri. Uh, it is nearing the end of its slow spiral inwards. Earthquakes and cyclonic, ooh, gross, windstorms are increasingly common on Ray, Ray, and Ray and Gray. Uh, with a few hundred years, the planets will rip each other apart. Some Asari travel cons consortiums have already announced sponsorship of cruises to absorb the spectacle. Oh, shit. They're just like, hey, this fucking stars are gonna fucking kill each other. Yeah, buy tickets. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that would be an amazing and terrifying thing to watch. That's true. Um, like, you remember in Treasure Planet when that one fucking, uh... Uh... In Treasure Planet, when that one star went supernova? Nova? Oh, yeah. That's fair. All right. Let's land. Who boy? Let's go on this bad planet. Bad, bad planet. Are they dropping us again? Woo! Yeah, baby. Okay. Fortunate stun starts flaring. Yeah. 
All right, where are we going? Where are we? God, uh, it's going. You know what is still hilarious to me? What? The fact that so many fucking Murica Ra Ra people don't understand the irony of using Fortunate Sons as an anthem of the Vietnam War. Yeah. Because it was literally an anthem of uh, of the rich and privileged being able to dodge the draft. Yeah. While the poor people are sent to die. Yeah. Against their will. That's yep. literally what why it's called Fortunate Sons. Yeah. And those same rich people, uh, uh, those same people are like, rah, rah, we're American. They won't fight for it. Yeah. Just like, if you're, if you're so gung-ho about the army, join it. Join it. Go ahead. It'll cost you literally nothing. If it costed you something, then poor people wouldn't have been drafted. <laughs> uh huh. Oh. But I mean, to be fair, because you know the whole thing. Of... Ugh. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's very frustrating. People, especially, and I'm going. I'm going to target people. Conservatives don't have media literacy or understanding of irony. Yeah. That's it. Ba, 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 time to check out some minerals. Oh, I don't like how close that is to us. Too too close for comfort, I say. That's terrifying and beautiful. Oh, oh yeah. This is a move. Yeah. The orbit is slowly getting closer, and it, it is going to collide. in here. Down this way? Yes it is, I see it. Oh, come on. Okay. It's parked on level terrain as you get out of it while it's yeah. sitting at a 45 <laughs> degree angle. Cover artifact, alright. Medallion recovered. This downed pod contained a League of One medallion. Its owner is nowhere to be found. Eh. So there is an ore deposit somewhere around here that I thought I saw. Maybe I'm crazy. Uh, abandon. Okay, that's where we already were. Okay, let's go here. Ba -ba -ba. Hello, car. Hello, can I ride in you? Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it, if you need to not be targeting oh. something and you want to target something else, just move your camera. No fair. Because there's so many times where you're like staring and you're like, my candidate, I'm pressing the button, why am I not doing the thing? And you could just turn your camera slightly and it would highlight the video. So. Mm, okay. Ha! Found him. Got him. Got him. There we go. Survey mineral. I have to play Frogger in order to look at a mineral. Rare element Dude. surveyed. Yeah. Hmm? Dude, if I could play Frogger and then fucking get to look at some cool ass rocks. I would be the happiest fucking person on the planet. That would be a good day, actually. Dude, I love, I love geology. Yeah, I remember when we went to the the Smithsonian 
and there was the whole rocks and gems exhibit that we spent most of our time in. Uh huh. I took, really cool. I took pictures of every single rock that looked like a park cloud or a penis. Yeah. Chocker. There was more than you would think. A lot more. I wanted to eat so many of them. There were some that looked like feathery with like hair. That was uh -huh. just really fine. It's really fine I, minerals. I know that I couldn't, but I really want to put a fist of rock in my mouth. Yeah, it, lo it looks like a big old candy. Um, it looks like it would taste good. I wonder, I, I literally just watched this morning uh, a lady trying out these edible crystals that somebody made. Uh, uh -huh. Like they had a bunch of different flavors, like blueberry, lime, fucking marshmallow. And they looked so good. They looked like actual rocks and they were candy. Uh, I wanted it so bad. So can we please make a bismuth, a bismuth one with that's like tutti frutti or something? That sounds really good. Now I just want rock candy. I want it so bad. Oh Rock my god. Is, oh, those are spikes. Oh. Those are the shits that they put the bodies on. Oh, good. Well, no bodies on this. So maybe they're bad at their job. <laughs> maybe they're just waiting to be you. I know, but I want to hear the latter. Coke and coal. Coke and Coca-Cola and Coca-Cola. I like, I like, I like some Coke very, um, very rarely. I'm not huge on, like, original Coke. I used to drink a lot of Diet Coke when I was younger. Basically, my parents raised me on it because that's every, that's the thing that they would drink, like, all the time. Yeah. We, uh, eventually, I had to get... I had to get, it took what, months for me to get you to regularly just start drinking water? Uh, yeah, it took a couple months. But I, I was, like, I didn't really have that, like, that addiction level. It was just me more not liking a lot a, of tap like water. Habit. Yeah, it was yeah. a habit. Because literally my, uh, my dad's go-to meal was... Uh, my go my dad's go-to breakfast was uh, those little powdered uh, donuts and uh, and uh, yeah and a diet coke. And it was rare to see my mom drink water because she like always had a diet coke. Diet Coke or tea? Yeah, or tea. Which I still drink a lot of tea, but tea is a lot it's better. Moderation. It's moderation is actually very good. Yeah, like I only get tea if, like, from McDonald's. I like their sweet tea. Or if I get, like, a green tea uh, with honey, like one of those uh, Arizona tea cans. They're very good. Rock candy and soda. Oh, are you meaning like the Pop Rocks and soda? Of how people used to think that if you ate Pop Rocks and drank a soda at the same time, it would blow up in your stomach and you would die? I remember that myth. It, it, I, I also remember that myth. And I remember trying it because it was just like one of those Bloody Mary type things that you're just like, there's no way it could exist, but what if it does exist? Uh-huh. If it doesn't, then it, we're all stupid. And if it does, and I die, then we know it's real. Yeah. I will serve as a cautionary kill. I would. I, I do not think that a company would be allowed to sell a product. Like, hey, literally any other uh, product containing carbonation. Or like a snack that it would then. I mean, uh, it... You know, your stomach to blow up. 
I mean, if it's a product and another product together, that could be a lot of fair because if you uh, take certain medications and you eat grapefruit, then you will have a really bad reaction. Uh, that's like, that will literally, um, it actually uh, raises your blood pressure super high to where it, uh, to where it's usually an unbearable feeling mm -hmm. and it'll mess with the actual chemical compounds um i literally i was just listening to a podcast this morning that was uh explaining how that stuff works and i thought it was really interesting because i take i take medicine and i cannot uh i cannot eat grapefruit or have anything with real grapefruit in it because of this I've I've known I've known that I'm not supposed to take it for like a decade now or like eat grapefruit for like a decade now, but it was nice very recently to hear some people who actually know what they're talking about um, talk about it. So that's fun. Okay. Yeah, I think we need to go this way. I will be back. Uh... Ah, you're gonna poop, I guess. Oops, sorry, guys. Oh, I did Bloody Mary too. Yeah, I did a lot of those. Uh. Okay, chat, what would you rather have? A cold toilet seat or a warm toilet seat? Also, Bloody Marys, like the drink, sound so cool. With a name like that, you'd think they're really cool. But they're like one of the worst alcoholic drinks, I think, in my personal opinion. Because it's just like tomato juice and like a little bit of alcohol or it's like clamato juice with a little bit of alcohol and I'm just like no that's disgusting I'm all for like I'm all for fun drinks but like I I can't I can't do a savory drink I'm sorry I can't it's too gross and then people garnish it with stuff like olives or pickle spears and I'm just like Bleh. Disgusting. Like to each their own, but I'm gonna I'm gonna side eye you if I see you ordering a Bloody Mary. All right, let's see. Where do I need to go? Is that everything? Did I just have to shoot a bunch of Geth in here? No other uh, no other rooms are labeled anything. It all just says science station. Um, because I think I went. To these two halls and then came back out. So I'm g I'm gonna see if there's something over there that I maybe missed or something. Cause I feel like there should have been something more in here, right? Like I feel like maybe we did go in here um yeah I think we went in here I'm wondering if I missed something oh well I did I did grab the contents of that so maybe that was him oh I didn't mean to shoot um yeah I'll check the other two rooms did I open this up yes I did um yeah I'll check the other two rooms real quick or the other room, I mean. Oh, we didn't even go to the one that I targeted because it's just on the other side. Uh, did we open this? We opened this. I think, yeah, I think that's it. So we're just gonna go out the way we came. Okay, well. That was an odd thing, but I guess it's over. Uh. 
speaking of like drinks and sodas like so I try and cut back on drinking soda every once in a while like I'll have like a drink of soda but usually if I oh what's this oh cool but if I have the option in fast food I'll either get tea or lemonade or fruit punch and I just want to I just want to tell all the uh all the fucking places that sell the high C fruit punch. Uh, my debt, my, I, you, you have my in, whole entire life in your hands because I, for some reason, can't get enough of fruit punch. It's so good. I don't know what comes over me. I just, I love, fucking love fruit punch. <laughs> All right, let's get this manual override. Here we go. Take all. All right, well. Well, well, well. Looks like we're heading out then. Oh boy. All right, let's just wait. I want to make sure. Scavenger camp. Probably okay. Yeah, I think we're going to head out of this. Oh wait, hang on. There are some aliens. Oh, we gotta go. Got him. Uh, what are you? Oh. Just one more outpost left. One more outpost left? Oh, I think they mean in the the Armstrong Galaxy. I don't think that there's... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think that's what he means. Um, so let's return and go... I believe the last one we need to go to is Hong. I believe that's what it was. But I'll double check. Alright. <coughs> Alright. Let's go in here. Out. Out. Ew. Yes, I'm gay. Okay. Hong. <laughs> Hong is is this one. Bibi one snick. Uh, Pomal. Let's see, Pamal is an enormous terrestrial planet with very dense atmosphere of carbon dioxide and sodium. The surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of sodium oxides and deposit of nickel. There is evidence that Pamal was once covered with broad, shallow seas. Should a, prove, should a probe ever be sent to the surface, a check for ancient fossil life might be proved valuable. Hmm. Okay, that's not bad. All right, um, so it's not that one. What about Casbin? I think this is the one. Casbin is a classic pre-garden terrestrial world with conditions similar to those on Earth millions of years ago. Its hot, humid atmosphere is mainly composed of nitrogen and carbon dioxide. An increasing amount of the surface is covered by simple lichen and algae. Should no unexpected calamity occur, these tiny plants will change the atmosphere to an Earth-like nitrogen-oxygen mix over the next few millennia. Due to its potential future for habil habit habitability and sapient life, Casbin has been designated as a sanctuary world by the Citadel Com Council. Landing is prohibited by law and any disturbance of the fragile young ecosystem will resort in harsh fines and imprisonment. At present, the planet is passing through the debris of trail of a long period comet. Um, so if we go there, we might get fucking reprimanded. So let's see if there are any other planets in this uh, system that we could land on. Because I don't want to get, I don't want to get space arrested. Uh, Matar. Matar is a terrestrial planet with a thick atmosphere composed of nitrogen and krypton. Its frigid surface is mainly composed of salt. Uh, sorry, I had to burp. 
composed of nitrogen and krypton. Its frigid surface is mainly composed of sodium oxide with deposits of copper. Because of noxious surfaces gases, explorers are warned to use extreme caution. Mart <clears throat> Matara lacks a magnetic field. This makes it useless for discharging FTL drive cores in orbit. The energetic particles of solar wind from Hong strike the upper atmosphere directly, ionizing the krypton. This gives the planet its distinctive minty green white hue. Uh, let's see, 29 Earth, oh god. Survey. Matriarch's warning recovered. Scans of Matar revealed debris from a destroyed Asari freight freighter. Further scans uncover a body which was brought on board. Dr. Hawkes was examined Shaquas was examined it has examined it but learned nothing about its origins among the Asari's personal effects however was one of matriarch Dil Dilangana's writings Dilanaga. Dilanaga. right so it's not that one is it this one or else we're going to a planet where we're gonna get arrested uh, yeah, I guess we go to the planet where we get arrested, but let's read a little bit about the Shaka. The Shaka is a stranded hydrogen helium gas giant. In the past, it was often used as a drive discharge point for pirates raiding human settlements from the Terminus systems. In 2178, the Alliance set up a network of covert sensing devices on the Sakaz moons, recording a private FTL exit fenders over the neck over the course of six months led to the Alliance Navy to eight major pirate anchorages. Since the the, sh the Shaka raids, no ship from the Terminus have been reported in the Hong system. 84 Earth years. Oh God. All right, we're going on a planet that we will get arrested on, but that's okay. I mean, you're a specter. That's fair. That's fair. Eh, eh. Let's get that squad. 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 I want a munch. Squad. All right. Map. Go to the anomaly. Also, journal, not journal. And two points for me. Uh, I would say continue with your sniper rifles. Yeah. Then we are. Warp. 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 Harris is we need more in electronic. Yes. Increases the radius and strength of overload. Alright, sick. Alright, well let's go this way. Woo! Let's go. This place looks nice. Ooh. Seems very cozy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah, uh, come on. Let's go. Okay. Almost there. I just need to drive better. <laughs> there we go. At least I'm not this bad of a driver IRL. No. Oh. Ooh. Ah, here I come. Ah. Okay. Well, let's go. This way. Uh. All right. 
Uh, I'm in the hole. Not the hole. Yeah, it's in the hole. Yeah, it's in the hole. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Come on. Let me leave the hole. Ah. Okay, I'm out of the hole. Please, please, please. No, I just want to have a hole. No, 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 no. Uh, big hole. Let's go up. Uh, are there yet? No. Is this it? It is not. Please. Why are there so many holes? Ah. No. Fuck. All right, sick. Ah, uh, here it is. Come on. Cover artifact, baby. ID tag recovered. Buried under the beacon was an identification tag for Captain Theron, but there's no indication of why it was hidden here or who buried it in the first place. Uh, okay. Well, go to the rebel. Time for rebel. Time for some big fat rocks. Big chonky rocks. Big chonky. Alright, let's get these minerals. Okay, alright, alright, okay, come on. There we go. Uh-oh, uh enemy. Uh-oh, multiple enemies. Uh-oh, Squidward, uh-oh. <laughs> careful SpongeBob! Careful, careful SpongeBob! Oh. Hey, come on, come on, come on! Oof. We're getting there. I'm just throwing my fucking vehicle around. It's no problem. What the hell is this thing? Aha! Fuck. Alright, let's take all this shit. Well, very cool, very good. I'll fight Solarian. Uh, I don't think. Gone to this. Oops. All right, back to the old grind. Oof. Okay. Um. Let's go. Oh, 
these fucking hills, dude. This goes backwards. Gonna <laughs> uh, have to go around. I can't just run through the mountain. Can't make my own fucking holes, I guess. No, I have a thing over here that I need to check before I before I do get stuff. All right, there we go. Uh, not yet, boys. Uh-uh, not yet. Mommy's got to do other work, like falling into a cavern. <laughs> caverns. Woo! I want to get out of this hole now. Oh, I've done it. Okay. I wonder how much of this could be a lot easier if, uh, the in there was, I don't know if there's an intended path, but I assume that this is very much not it. It's my intended path. I have chosen this. This path is mine. It was much made for me. how you've made your life by just, like, choosing the most direct path. If it's not, if the X is there, I should be able to drive right into it. Right back into the hole. Yeah. Oh, 
Jesus, no. Oh, my butt is clenched. My butt. Oh, my butt. Uh oh. Far away now. It's fine. It's okay. I'm getting there. I'm gonna do it. Oh. Please. I feel like this area is specifically built to punish players like you. Ah, please. I'm just trying to live. Oh boy. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's there you go. go. I did it. Whoa. Oh, I see. Yes. The more, the more that I see of this area, the more I'm specifically built to punish you. I am and upset. Your, and and your ignoring of paths. What did I already do this one? Yes. Ah. Uh. That was the engine debris, the anomal uh, anomalous signal. Oh yeah. Okay. And then well. the get them. And then the get pose. Yeah. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Big burp. doing this. Jumping. And you're falling into a hole. Not if I have anything to say about it. I'm pretty sure you're both. Uh, I was say, I'm pretty sure you're mostly falling into a hole. Ah, I got it. Stop. There you go. 
All right, I'm doing it. I'm I'm moving. I'm grooving. I'm I'm somehow pooping. That would be a miracle. Oh yes. Oh, it's a turret. I think I have to. Normally there's, there's a dialogue option. Ah. The Geth Array is transmitting regular data bursts on encrypted channel using the Alliance's own FTL comm buoys. It's not clear where the data is being directed nor the con uh, content of the signal. Turn it off. Well. Looks like we figured that out. Time to go kill some fucking geth. Now the outpost. Outpost. Ooh boy. We going. Kill everybody, I'm <laughs> on my way. New friends and new faces. <laughs> Oh, there's some minerals. Mineral. A wall? Minerals? A wall? Minerals? Aha! I've done it. I've s I found them. Big chunk. Big chunk. Come in. Frogger for Frogger for rocks. Big Frogger. gold. Frogger. Frogger. <sighs> Frogger. Wow. Oh wow wow wow. There there. All right, car time. We are going up. or like singing or like making a specific motion as they're like moving. Wait, people don't, people don't do that? There's, there are apparently a lot of people that do not do that. What the fuck? I thought that was just a commonplace thing. This is a shit. Hey, 
about the 50 caliber PSG, right? Yeah. Big fucking sniper right there. Yeah. the star cluster. Oh, it must be a message from the primary gas base. We can use the signal to log on to its location and take them out. But, uh, so those uh, things uh -huh. uh, do not normally uh, those are not a, that's not usually a caliber of round that is used for, um, that's not usually a caliber of round that's used for taking out people. Hmm. That is an anti-vehicle round. Oh. Because I want you to understand that I think if it if one of those bullets, um, to give you the, the level of power that one of those rounds possesses, if it passes 18 inches away from your face, we're talking a foot and a half here, if it goes over your right, sh like say it goes over your right, pass by, by you on your right side, uh, you will no longer have skin on the right side of your head. Jesus. Well, I believe that was everything. Yep. All right, uh, we uh, we should go to the place that also had the orb, so we can look into the orb. Yeah, that other orb. Need to ponder orb. Which one had orb? Was not this one. It was the one with all the monkeys. It had monkeys. I believe that was. Ter I don't think it was Tereshkova. Because you were just at Tereshkova. No, I was just at Gagarin. Is it the, uh, the one to the right? Uh, possibly. Am she? Oh, I mean, let's check it out. We just have to remember that it is toxic to basically human life. Yeah. Okay, it wasn't this one because there's usually only one landing point, I'm pretty sure, for the solar system. Yeah. Just at Hong. It might have been Tereshkova. It might have been Tereshkova? I don't like I don't think it was, but uh frozen surface. No, that's the ice, no. that's the ice one. Then it was probably Gagarian. <clears throat> Luthor. <clears throat> I did merely went home on the monkey volunteer. Uh, Wait, you can survey it though. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is one that I didn't look at, look at. Wreckage freighter orbiting of uh, Juthener's smaller moons. A Raycon team found no signals of life, but they did recover one of Matrix Delanaga's Dil writings. Okay. Uh, this one? Anti Room Room Gone is a small rock and ice planet with a trace atmosphere of methane and ethane. The frozen surface is mainly compromised of carbon with deposits of calcium. Entry room, entry, mm, entry, anti rum gone. Anti oh rum gone <laughs> has been Why used. Why is the rum gone? <laughs> Jesus. As a crude anchorage for terminus pirates for many years, the shells of temporary dwellings blasted by Alliance uh, frigate patrols dot the surface. 
but always the pirates return to ground their ships drive charges chip out some water ice and trade slaves and stories the deeper layers of anti rumgon's interior are semi-liquid slush due to the persistence of methanol it is thought that the bacterium in the deep core create this natural antifreeze some species of terminus pirate drill through the ice crust to recover its natural alcohol Oh, big alcoholic slushy planet. Scans from orbit have detected a deposit of cobalt. Cool. Is it you? Solgarlis? No. Zoli Sogol Sogolros is a small terrestrial planet with a thin atmosphere of nitrogen and argon. The frigid surface is mainly composed of water ice, which can be plainly seen oh, excuse me, in the bottom of recent craters. The dark coloration of the surface is caused by a carbon and ferrous material, pushed up from the denser core by, by cro cryovolca cryovolcanic process. Uh, jeez. Alright. Was it you, Prussia? No. Was it Juther? No, I looked at Juther. And was it you? Uh... No. It was the green. It was a green world. Yeah. Maybe did we forget to check? Forget to check. For some? No. Possibly. Possibly. And, uh. Surface planet never cooled enough to cross to form sea molten rock. Its atmosphere is being blasted away in the solar wind. Uh, once its thick atmosphere is gone, Benta's surface will be a mere. 400 degrees Celsius. Interesting. But no, oh, I can survey. Scans of ben Benda uncovered an ancient Solarian vessel. A small team was dispatched to search for valuables. The only item of value recovered was a League, one medall League of One medallion. Okay, so it's on that. Benda Z Zath the Zaharix. Uh. Zathurik's nitrogen argon atmosphere is being blasted away by the solar wind of the blue giant Grissom. Its surface consists of seas of loose silica dust, same, uh, some cl 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 kilometers deep, with periodically swirl into global sandstorms. Many unmanned probes to Zathurik's have been lost over the years, though investigation has attributed all to mechanical failure or comprehend error. Popular extranet meme insists that the entire planet is compromised of dormant nanotechnology created millennia ago by a race of even more uh, by a race even more advanced than the Protheans. According to the story, Zahurix silica doesn't uh, dust isn't actually silica dust is actually dis disassembler. Robots which periodically awaken to defend themselves. Though discounted by every reputable scientist, this theory has been popularized by a series of sensationalistic texts by sorry author Deleuze or Orthesa. Interesting. Survey. While scanning this planet, you detect a large deposit of beryllium on a small nearby moon. But it's not that one. What about you? Sulcrum? Heat hazard. Largest, okay. It's not gonna be this one. But you can land on it. Oh. I mean, no, we should, we should look for it because we're almost out of time. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, maybe it wasn't in this one. Was it in Hong? Did, are we just trained? Am I, am I remembering this wrong that we had just done Hong? Hummel. 
Okay, that's so, okay. I can't land there. I lean here. Get survey. Scans from orbit have detected the deposit of lithium. Is that you? No, it was not you. Aspen. No, that is the one that we were just on. Damn it. Yeah, yeah. Wait, or was Caspin the actual? Huh? I don't remember where. Hold on. Monkey call. There's a monkey calling. Calling. Aspen back. It was. Uh, Attican, Beta, Hercules, Elitania. Elitania. You gotta back out. It's not in the Armstrong Nebula. Oh, okay. It's in the same one as Pharaoh. It's in the Attican, Beta. Hercules. Here we go. Then Elitania. Time to complete the orb. I hope that. I hope that it is. Oh, yeah, I think. Yeah, Elitania. Uh, sadly, yeah. Yep, level one toxic hazard, that's it. Let's go complete the orb. Here we go! Woohoo! Next time, and all I can hear when that thing pops out is the Mario. Uh, anomaly down. I think it was the anomaly. Road. Yeah. Like we can make doubly sure, but I'm pretty sure that it's the colony that anomaly. Colony. Down, down. Okay, that's the down probe. So I think yeah, it's the anomaly. But you can also check if Garrus had. Oh know. yeah. Also remember green. you gotta follow the green. Yeah. Okay, yes I can. Uh actually let me get your levels up too. Do yeah. a leveling sniper rifle. Yes. Increases assassination damage bonus. Eris, uh Liara. Uh warp. warp. Let's go. Honey, that's not green. I'm trying to get up to the green. Mm -hmm. Ah, I didn't mean to do that.
I need to see. I need to complete. I need to complete the orb. Orb. Boo! I think it is safe to say that you can probably start heading to now. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I, th I think you have to do a little bit so. Yeah. I just want up. I just want uppies. I think if you follow that, that general direction, you can do the way up. Yeah. Ah, please, 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 come on. Further to my right? somewhere we're getting somewhere um, there we go oh come on vehicle let's do this no 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 no, no. I, I think I know I know I'm trying to get back up there Terrain, I hate it. Oh no. Oh my god. I just want up. Why do they have to make it so difficult? To be fair, I don't think it's that difficult. You're just trying to force things in areas that you can't. I'm just trying to get on the green path. I think it has to be under the uh, okay. Yeah, there it is. I'm here for you, Orb. Oh, come on. Time for Orb. Orb time. Orb. Orb. Examining the strange Prothean artifact reveals a small, ir irregularly shaped slot on the underside. It looks as if some would fit. Uh, okay. But you know where such an object could be found is mystery. Oh, what? Okay, so your disc, that disc was not it. God damn it! I spent 10 minutes trying to get here! Fuck you, Orb! Fuck you, Orb. I have a feeling you might be able to find it mm -hmm. if you get all of those Prothean discs. Probably. Um, I just wanna get in the car. 
Well. Time to return to Normandy. It's probably about time we call it there. Yeah, I'm gonna save real quick. Game. Uh, but thank you all so much for coming out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm gonna make dinner here in a second uh, using HelloFresh, uh, which I'm currently sponsored by. I've been using their services for the past two and a half years. I really enjoy it. And uh, yeah, if you would like to, uh, if you'd like to use the code down below, you can get 21 free meals and free shipping. Um, as for now, I'm going to see about throwing it over to someone else. Remember that at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, I'm going to be with a few friends playing Phasmo, so that's going to be fun. Um, I am going to raid uh, Lady Boots, who is playing Elden Ring. Let me grab their thing real quick. Oh, oh come on. Copy. And right. Lady Boots. All right. Thank you all so much. This was a lot of fun. And I will see you at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And as always, stay frosty. Hell yeah.